Let's come up with an equation and then use it to determine depreciation. You bought a new car for $50,750. Its value is decreasing by $5,500 per year. After how many years will its value be $12,250? Well, let's start off with the fact that it's originally worth $50,750. We're decreasing, which means we're subtracting off $5,500 for each year. So if we let x equal the number of years that have passed, we have $5,500 multiplied times the number of years. That tells us how much of a decrease we end up with. We want to figure out when that value would be $12,250. We're now going to take this equation and solve for x. To do so, we're going to subtract 50,750 from both sides of the equation. Now you may recall that if I'm going to have, let me write it down for you, 12,250 minus 50,750, we're looking at the same thing as an addition of a negative. So we take the difference over to the side. which is going to give us 38,500. And we need to recognize it's going to be a negative value. So that's negative 5,500x equals a negative 38,500. Now we divide both sides of the equation by the negative 5,500. So x equals negative 38,500 divided by negative 5,500. A couple of things we can notice, because we have two negatives, we know that the result will be positive. We can divide both numerator and denominator by 100, and that rids us of the zeros. And then if we take 385 and divide by 55, we can see that this looks like it'll go into it seven times. Let's just double check. Seven times five is 35. Seven times five is 35 plus three is 38. Sure enough, that's an exact value, so x equals seven. So we can then determine that after seven years, the car will end up being $12,250.